Today's Bible passage is John chapter 21, verses 15 to 19. And today the church gives thanks for Bishop Richard of Chichester. You'll probably know the much loved prayer which is attributed to him. It goes like this. Thanks be to thee, my Lord Jesus Christ, for all the benefits thou hast given me, for all the pains and insults thou hast borne for me. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know thee more clearly, follow thee more nearly, and love thee more dearly day by day. Richard was born in Droitwich in 1197 of a yeoman family. He studied at Oxford and Paris and he rose to become Chancellor at Oxford University and then for the Archbishop of Canterbury. He was made Bishop of Chichester and was a model bishop, moving around his diocese on foot, encouraging and visiting his clergy. He insisted that the sacraments should be made available without payment. One shudders to think what the usual arrangement might have been. Richard died in his mid-fifties whilst getting up support for the Crusades in Dover and his remains were translated back to Chichester on this day in 1276. The Gospel for his feast day is the poignant passage about Peter's restoration to discipleship with Christ following his threefold denial. Peter has learned his lesson. He knows his own frailty now. He's no longer boasting of his courage in the face of danger. He is forgiven and has learnt some humility. One might think his failure would be the end of the road for his leadership, but no, in fact, it becomes a formative experience. Jesus commissioned Peter to feed my sheep, to be the chief shepherd of the flock, vulnerable in the world, after Jesus had returned to his heavenly Father. Peter grows through his failure, just as we all can, or we may, grow through our setbacks. It's not inevitable, it's not automatic, it depends on how we respond. Peter can only fulfil this commission if he loves Jesus. It's interesting that he's not asked if he loves the people, the flock, but only if he loves Jesus. That is the foundation for all the work of shepherding the flock. And he's challenged to commit to help and support the flock, to feed them with Jesus, and ultimately to give his life for them, to pour out his life in service for them, come what may, as Jesus did. All this is encompassed in the call, follow me. Bishop Richard did this. Many bishops, priests and pastors have done this through the ages. Many religious and many lay people have also been called and have done this. All of us in different ways are called to be servants of others, not motivated by our own gain or popularity or influence or position, but to give of whatever gifts God has provided us with as servant leaders and to know him more clearly, love him more dearly and follow him more nearly day by day.